Jam Music exclusive. I, I grew up like a savage. One, two, one, two. You now rocking with the No Vultures podcast. You got me, myself, Laura Rab. You got OG Clee going away on a vacation. Free OG Clee. And today we got a very, 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 very special guest. Now this guy, I know they got a Mount Westmore, right? But sometimes you got to have an alternate. Sometimes you got to have a sub. Sometimes it's that guy that's been the people's champ. The hero, the guy that we all know can outrap a lot of motherfuckers and been able to do that. And in the era where I'm from, had to walk like that when you talk like that, right? This guy is literally, this ain't no pun intended, a Sacramento king, a motherfucking legend, right? From being friends and being uh, associates with the late great Tupac Shakur to the E-40s. To the to, to you name it. I mean, this dude is all over the place, man. Man, today we got Sacramento Zone, West Coast Mafia Zone, the motherfucking legend, Cowboy, Sebo for show. Bo motherfucking Loke. Sebo on no vultures today, man. <laughs> no vultures. What's good good looking, man? baby. Man, yes, man, hey, hey, Bo, man, I just gotta say this, man. I ain't proud of it, but I saw a lot of crack to your music, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As a young, as a very young man, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's inspirational, bro. Right. I'm just telling you, like, like we look at you like like you one of them ones, man. You you one of them gods. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Um, I want to give you the no vultures disclaimer though. Ever since we started this podcast, you have been one of those guys that we wanted to get. One of those guys that like why we do this shit, because this shit is Starting a podcast, at least for me, is because I love it, not right. just for the bread. It's because I want the stories to be told. Right, right. Like being inspired by like Drink Champs, seeing them tell all, like we can find out what was going on with Prodigy and Havoc and Queensbridge, but I want to know how did Sebo drive from his hood, <laughs> how did he drive from Garden Block to go hook up with Fody now? You know what I'm saying? Right, That's the right. stories we want to hear, you know what right, I mean? Right. So from the inside out. So. We don't want to wait till no controversy happened, to no bullshit happened. We want to celebrate a nigga, give him his flowers while he's here. So appreciate that's the appreciate whole purpose, purpose of no vultures. Right, right. Appreciate that. So how you doing, bro? Man, I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed, man. And, uh, you know, I can't complain. You know? Yeah. In the Bay. Ken, you got him good on the mic? Okay. Uh, you, in the, you in the Bay for the for, for, for a show, man, for the Soul Beat? Yes, sir. And, uh, man, um, I, I must tell you, man, the streets is buzzing. Man, that's good. That's good, man. That's how it used to be, though. You man. know, that's how it was when the motherfucker was coming to the town. Man, the streets is buzzing, bro. Like, like they can't believe it for real. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? We just had the loonies on stage together right. in the same right. fashion. And um, yeah. it's the same hype, man. They, they they can't believe it, man. That's dope. Um, that's dope. But, you know, on No Vultures, bro, we like to take it from the beginning, right? Right. So, Sacramento born and raised. Straight up, born and raised, man. South side, man. South side. So when you when you um left the hospital, you went straight to Garden Block. I went to Greenhaven to my grandmother's house. Mm. I was there for about till I was about five years old. Okay. You know, my mother had me when she was young. She was fifteen when she had me. So, you know what I mean? Uh she had to get out on her own, you know what I mean? And uh, you know, from there. That's where we went. We went to the south side, you know okay. what I'm saying? Which was already on the south side, but to the hood of it. You know? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know when I was I know when I was young, Sacramento seemed a a, a a long ways away. Like, you know, only time we would go that far is like as far as driving north is to go to the fair. Right. And to go, you know, Reno or Tahoe that way. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? But I had family members in Sac. Yeah. But when you touch down in Sacramento, man, it's like a it's crazy. Like you went, like it's the state capital, right? right? So I don't know what you would think. Right. But when you get to that motherfucker, man, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's a whole different ball game. <laughs> so when you so growing up, you know, in your neighborhood, what was the what was the like soundtrack to your life? Like what was the temperature of the streets? What you heard coming out the cars, the vibration, what was the hustle? Like what was going I mean, on? 
far as music? Or are you just talking about the life? Just like so, all of that. Like so, you know, they was listening to this, but they was hustling like I this. Mean, so they it was, was it was Herbie Hancock. It was mm, like you know Roxanne ooh. Shante it was uh you know uh uh it was uh, uh, a Sugar Hill Gang. You know what I mean? When we was young. You know what I mean? That was the the vibe of the you know it, it vibrated through our body. You know what I mean? But when when the LL Cool J's and uh, the Ice Cubes, you know MC Shan and Shy D and all them dudes was coming out. You know what I mean? Now that was like okay, they were speaking a, this language mm. that we were walking. You know that we was out there living. So you know what I mean? That's that just really pushed them, pushed me into that lane of loving music. Right. Of knowing that, damn, maybe I can, you know, they rapping about the lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? A lifestyle. Right. Whether it was mines or, you know what I mean, somebody else, a dope dealer or a gangbanger or just a player. Right. Or whatever right. the case may be. You feel me? So that just made me want to tell my story. Like, damn, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So it's like, what what was the, like, first gangster shit you think you heard on Wax? Man, Ice Cube. I'm gonna say that in WA. Cause a lot of people say the Ice message. Tea. Message, but I didn't take it as real gangster. Message it was more reality message. rap. Yeah. Message had a message. They was like the, the uncles. Okay. They were like the uncles of the rap game. You okay. feel me? Like they were smart. They knew they were going in the right path. They weren't on no stupidity shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I you, was fucking with that though. I know you a real hip hop head, right? So yeah. I gotta I gotta ask you, where was as far as gangster rap, because uh-huh. you are a gangster rap expert, where was Cool G rap in that equation? Ooh, Cool G, he is. They, they is gangster He was rap. gangster, huh? Yeah, Cool G and them gangster rap. Right. For sure. For right, sure. <laughs> right. They had a message too, but they was a little on the jagged, the, the edge of it. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah, yeah, they was living the lifestyle. Um, <laughs> Lifestyle, that's the name of the song. Huh? <laughs> uh, um, so... But in your neighborhood, now I want to, I, I need to hear this from you, right? Because everybody talks about this and I know they don't really know mm-hmm. the origins of gang shit in Sacramento. Right. So you just spoke of a time when Herbie Hancock was popping, mm-hmm. when probably, you know, breaking in Beach Street was right. going on, yeah. right? So well. you got linoleum and cardboard and people right. dressing a certain way, right? right? But when did that gang element, come it came right around that time okay right after that it was close to that so crack are already on the street crack was cracking okay crack had just crack crack hit and we was before the crack really got to our section we was right there before that okay you know what i'm saying uh uh man yeah crack hit uh gang violence came see we right up under the black panthers you feel me so we kids uh, looking out, looking for what for the for the uh, KKK type motherfuckers because we seeing them on the news, but we right. you know what I mean. They right. we hearing they having rallies and shit. This was before the gangs, right? You know, before my 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 uh, you know initiation to the gang. So you feel me? That was that was always on the mind too. And then uh, you know, once the gangs came into place, that was just a, that was you know, if you was a wild kid and you was out there. You probably didn't have no father figure at home to really make you, you know, stay home and do work and with all this shit. So that's what you you cater to, you know, the big brother type of gang. Right. You feel me? Right. Like them was where your big brothers was. You feel me? Like them niggas to check you, mm-hmm. wreck you, whatever, if you mm-hmm. got a line. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's where all that came, man. You yeah. Know? And like, I, I, you know, I always wondered this because like when Colors came out, right? Right. So they they wasn't gang banging in Oakland, but they reacted to it. A lot of people did. They that reacted to out? it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they yeah. reacted like gang members, right? So in the movie theater, niggas shooting. Right. You know what I'm saying? The, right. you, you see an arrival and you just thinking you need to bang on him somehow, right? right? right like right. that's how it so I'm just imagining y'all was already like that, yeah, right? And it turned out say. Did it did it turn it up? It turned it up because then we 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 understood that damn, we thought only it was Crips in Los Angeles. Mm. In Sacramento, we didn't know it was Crips in Stockton mm. and Fresno. You know what I mean? All the way down the freeway. You feel me? So once the movie came out, and uh, my homeboy, he had a cousin in Stockton that wound up getting shot. Okay. At the movie, you feel me? So we wind up going down to Stockton, and that's when we figured out, damn. Okay. These niggas crimping like a motherfucker too. You know what I'm saying? So then you know, 
That's how that. That's how that. You know. That's crazy. I first met a, my first Dr. Crip partner was Fofo G NYA. Like I was like, damn, y'all fuck yeah, with yeah, it like that. Game, man. Yeah, yeah, like y'all fuck with it like that. Um, but even in that, even in those politics, like Bloods dominated the Sacramento, Sacramento games. Yes, yes. Like so, how was it? Because surviving in that element, because that shit was real. You had to be. You had to be a thorn of that shit, man. I'm saying to the vo- to survive, then you had to really be explosive out there. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, cause they was out, they was outnumbered in juvenile and wherever you went, you was outnumbered. The the, the fair, you know what I'm saying? These these carnivals, like when they came, they came deep. You know right. what I'm saying? So you had to be really doing some shit to keep them from coming to your neighborhood just on the on that hype, but. They come and they hit some shit. You right. know what I mean? Right. Because they know how serious it is. So that you know. shit that shit crazy because like it made me think of, you know, like later on in life now that you know when I'm older, I always think about young niggas and how, you know, when you think from your your young self, like you could be almost scared of your young self, right. like, nigga, what? I was ready to do what? Yeah, for, <laughs> like, real. for like, real. You know what I'm saying? But back then in order to survive, you had to be like that, right? Right. So, um, but one thing I do know is Sacramento had the elements of being hustlers also. Oh, yeah. So how was it, like, combining those two things? Because, you know, like, in other places, you don't have both. They just banging or some niggas hustlers. Like, so it, so we, always was, we was always known for having marijuana. Our neighborhood was big on selling marijuana. You feel me? So that was the first thing we would try to hit a lick, come up on some money to buy some weed from the, from the motherfucking... Uh, 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 Puerto Ricans. We had Puerto Ricans in there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So we tried to get some money and, and buy some weed from the Puerto Ricans and, and we had our little one way in, one way out type of little neighborhood. So uh, my, one of my older homies, he wound up getting in a motorcycle accident and he got a settlement. So after he got a settlement, he wound up going to get some bricks. He wound up fucking with the game. You know okay. what I mean? So that's when the crack hit the city. When I came out of juvenile hall, I, I seen crack everywhere. Like, what the fuck? Niggas smoking it mixed with weed and shit. Like, you know right, what I'm saying? It was right, just everywhere. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's when I was experienced to the crack era for the first time. You know what I mean? And he had a crew. And if and if it was another motherfucker, because we was gangbangers already, you know what I'm saying? So how he did it, if it was somebody else down the way that had a, a project that was selling crack, he would take us down there and shoot that month, shoot it up. You feel me? And but he would already have a female that already put got apartment in her name in, in there. there. Yeah. yeah. So after that, we run up in the apartment, and the police come. They go out there. The females go out there and tell you, "Oh, okay, they gone." Right. So we rush out there and sell the crack before these niggas come back. Right. You feel right. me? So when they come back, they see us. It's another thing, thing, thing. Right. And we repeat it. Right. Now it's our spot. Taking spot. So that's what he was doing. That's mm. you know, I was a kid. I didn't understand what he was doing, but he right. was using the gang violence. To take over certain dope areas. Damn, areas. that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. And when you just in it and being the kid, you don't know what you're doing. I don't know you're what just... I'm doing. I'm just following the, you know what feel me? I'm just trying to fit in and right. do what the hell these niggas doing because I'm a follower. Right, you right, feel me? right, right. You know, yeah. I, um, when, I, when I was just speaking of colors earlier, right, and I was, I, I always, a scene that always stick out to me is when, uh, I think it might be Don Cheeto. Is that hmm. Rocket? He Rocket? Yeah, but right, I mean, yeah, his, yeah. they was on their knees and they was brothers. Right. And they had the Uzis and they got off on each other. Right. And that right. always stuck to me like, you know, when you in this shit, sometimes it get like that, right? To where like, I didn't understand. Well, the thing is, I'm the only Crip in my family pretty much. Everybody else is Bloods. So, because yo, you got I a got brother. Brothers. I got from three brothers from Metaview. They okay. Bloods. They all from Metaview. Okay. They real Bloods. They yeah. serious. They didn't do One of them was a rapper. Yeah, yeah. Is well, it, is two, of them, Meek? two of them, it was Big Meek okay. and then Lil Meek. You know okay, what I mean? Okay, Big okay. Meek was first. Okay. Then Lil Meek got on. You feel me? So, um, but like the same time, like my whole life of gang banging, when I came out of YA, my brothers was turned out. Before I left, they wasn't turned out. You know what I mean? But uh, when I came home, they was out, they was turned out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So they was bloods. And, you know, it was just like I had already been infected with it. So I'm like, okay. Then my brothers, homie, we are gonna have to, we gonna have a little, some some sense right there, right, right, with that neighborhood right, right there, because right. you feel me, it's, it's close, right. You know what I mean? And that's just how it is because there's so much family right there. It's really just a street that split us up. You know what I'm saying? Because because you got you, uh, 
So you had a partner too, right? That was a, uh, his name Doug. Do Doug. Do Doug. Yeah, my cousin. He was a blood. Yeah, he a blood. Yeah. 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 He just came back from doing twenty nine years but, for murder. Yeah. So that shit, as a leader, that that shit didn't really matter to you because you was. Nah, man, this shit mafia, homie. Right. It started off as a gang, but as I started in gangs, I understood that the, the spread of your wings is the bigger your squad is, you know, mm. strength in numbers. You feel me? And then me going through YA and going through all these these, these systems, I was f finding that it was really the enemy was really like me. He was solid like me, nigga. That's why, you know what I mean? We having problems. Exactly. And he was standing on this shit like I was exactly. standing on this, like you, nigga was you happening. Learn, you gonna learn. That was the nigga though, right, you feel me? Right, so, Right. I just learned, like, you know, it ain't really, um, it never been around, it, it, it never was about violence and just crime. It was about protecting the neighborhood. Exactly. You feel me? It's like, oh, they did what? Come on, homie. They Where they at? Exactly. Now we over there. Guess what? Now they back over here. Now we back over there. And it's a TikTok. You feel me? It's back and forth. You feel what I'm saying? So that's really how it, it, it be fucking around. Um, I know you taught, you. <laughs> I don't know the name of the high school uh, out there, but back in the day, it's like when we used to go to a school called Skyline, but y'all had the girls' school. Is it Bishop something? Bishop and no. I call it Bitches and Hoes. Right, right. Yeah, Bishop and so, no. I was, like, when you running down going to these schools like that, y'all gangsters, though. Right. We so, should, so, but really, y'all was looking for the square girls. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, but that's what, because it, it seemed like now it ain't really like that. Like, it's like they look for the... Wildest, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's different. I, I mean, we was trying to get out of that shit. Right, right. These niggas is trying to get into it. Think, man, say that. You feel me? They not living the life. They want to live the life. Man. You feel me? They do one thing and then they get locked up and they think they solid. Absolutely. You feel me? Yeah. It's like this is a repeated thing you have to go through. It's a cycle. You feel me? And and it's not you make yourself solid. The the gang got to come and tell you, hey, homie. You solid, homie. I don't give a fuck with nobody. When a solid nigga that you look up to come tell you, hey, homie, you solid, homie. I fuck with you. Right. Then you know you solid. Then right. you know that's when you get that real nigga feeling. Right. Like, Damn, these right. niggas, the real niggas fuck right. with me. Right. The real niggas telling me, nigga, I'm one of the realest niggas. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So absolutely. That's just how this shit you, is. You you like starting to starting to get in trouble and shit, like going through juvenile and shit like mm -hmm. Like, what was that point where, like, you know, you what kind of cases did you catch first? Because, like, some people start off with stolen cars or getting caught with rocks or, like, what was what was going on? Well, well, one day I came out the house. I had just moved to the neighborhood, and everybody was playing. They was having a water balloon fight. The whole neighborhood. It was kids everywhere. They was It was like, you know, some TV shit. It okay. was just kids having water balloons, throwing it everywhere. Then they ran out of water balloons. Okay. Everybody looking sad. So me and my partner, we go up to the store, and I steal some balloons. Okay. So I go steal a bunch of balloons and come back and pass them out. We have a water balloon fight. Okay. So the next day, we like, we want to do it again. You feel me? So I went back up there and got caught the next okay. day. You feel me? But I was still in just to have fun with, with these the, motherfuckers. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I was still yeah. it for myself. Yeah. You feel me? So that was my first, uh, you know, taste of theft and then from there went to uh grand theft auto mm -hmm. stealing cars you know trying to get from one side of the town to the other side and you if know you know I mean? sacramento motherfucker, if you ain't got no Don't car kill, your ass is done. <laughs> <laughs> so that was next you know um uh, did you did you skip any of the boys ranches any of that shit did nah, they try alternative every, i've been everywhere i've been in everything vision quest all there. that shit I just never been a group home. Mom, never, mama never, never gave me up. You never gave me? you yeah, up. Yeah. yeah. So when that when that time was, because you know you hear horror stories, right? Mm -hmm. So when you first got that, like, all right, man, we sending your ass to YA this time. Oh yeah, YA. You hear about YA? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Everybody in YA niggas like you just hear about it's a it's a spot for warriors. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're not a warrior, you don't want to go to YA, dog. Man. If you think you ain't finna get in a fight. You crazy. You crazy. You, you gonna fight. fight. You gonna have to fight. You know what I'm saying? You gonna saying? fight. So, you know, when, and when I got up in there, everybody was, they had been in there. They had muscles and shit. These niggas had little, these niggas was kind of swollen. I'm the little kid. Like, God damn, I ain't never did a push. I ain't had to do push-ups. 
<laughs> you feel me? These niggas been lifting iron in that motherfucker. Same shit out there. You can see this. You at NRCC now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah. As soon yeah, as you yeah. get to the reception, yeah, you like, yeah. what the fuck? Niggas I'm in there on violations. Yeah, I'm seeing the old, the, the older niggas from yeah. the other yard. They walking in the, the child line and shit walking. I'm like, God damn, okay. You know? But when I got up in there, you know, it was, you, shit, you, you got to be a line. It's just fight for your respect, man, and, and you'll be all right. Right. Because ain't nobody going to keep wanting to fight you. Nah, hell no. Nah. If you fight Not if you're willing to fight. Yeah, yeah not if nah. you fight him. If you if don't you fight, fight him back, they'll fuck you up it, every day. It don't even matter if you lose. If you yeah. get that motherfucker <laughs> fight, he ain't going to keep coming. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. So, going through that, going through the city, and, 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 and why he was really fucked up, I ain't going to lie, because you could be trying to program. Yeah. Like, going to see a board every year, it just it just was not, they keep your ass in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, so, getting out and, is is when you got out of Y the very first time, is that when, like, was you rapping already? I was, I've been rapping, yeah. You've been rapping? Yeah, I've been rapping. So, I was at, known. at that time, was you still just, was you cowboy rapping? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. I had different names, Cosmo X. I had all type of names. Damn, what what, what was uh, that influence? X Clan? Man, I don't know where that shit came <laughs> from. Man, I was with this nigga Y.A. <laughs> and Scarry gave you that name, man. <laughs> and this before I knew Scarry. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I had all type of names, man. Uh, Devonier, Too Fresh. Damn. <laughs> from Too Short. Too Short. Yeah, too short. That was a that was a too fresh day. I got that for too short. Was you was you pimping holes in the raps with too? Oh no, nah, I probably wouldn't. Nah, <laughs> hey, um, so <coughs> but when you so the <coughs> first time getting parole, <coughs> I I um I seen y'all not really saying his name, mm. but is that when you met your CEO? No, I mean I've been to him. We from the same neighborhood. Y'all are from the same neighborhood. Yeah, we from the same neighborhood. You and this me? and this is a this is a baller from your neighborhood. Sort of like you could say that. Yeah. Or like it's a, a big nigga dog. getting money. A big dog. Big dog, yeah, big dog getting money. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he, he always been like that. You feel me? So when I came home, my homeboy was like, "Man, let me, you know, take me to go get a piece." You know what I'm saying? This little, he was going out of town. So we looking around, and then homie's like, "Damn." The homie over there. So I wind up going to see him. You feel me? And uh, he looked out for the homie. And then at the same time, he was in an area where E-40 and Lil Bruce and all these rappers was at that was on records. Mm. You feel me? But I was known as, you know, rapping, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I never been on record, you know what I mean? So that was my first time really, um, you know, getting a taste of that. So... So like is, but does A Wall start with C Wall or is A Wall started? Does he have we to establish a wall together? Together, he he was on the run from Vacaville. Mm -hmm. I was on the run from CYA. Mm. So we like shit. What are we gonna call this motherfucker? We all absent with our leave. Uh. A Wall Records. I'm just trying to stay racked up like you. Put an eight in a one and do magic. Trying to stretch hair on like elastic. Eco friendly drug dealer, I don't waste no plastic. Use all four corners of that baggie. Uh, all I ever wanted was a bankroll. So I pull up on champ before the bank close. Say no to stank hoes and stank clothes. No paramedic pimping, nigga, we don't save hoes. Yeah, rest in peace and love.